Here on United People's TV, I've covered Eric Ten Hag's first couple of weeks of preseason in as much detail as possible, trying to bring insight and info into his methods and what's been going on behind the scenes. But after that open training session yesterday, we got the best opportunity to look at Ten Hag, his methods, the drills, how the players are responding and everything ahead of Man United's game against Liverpool today. So what I want to do in this final video is take a big look at that open training session yesterday. All the videos that were released from the journalists from like Simon Peeps, Samuel Luckhurst, Simon Stone and Laurie Whitwell and James Ducker and run through everything that we saw so we can see the patterns of play ahead of the game against Liverpool and after the game we can see that in action. So please, if you would, consider dropping a like on the video and subscribing to United People's TV. Look, go down there. I'd love to have you as part of the community. I've loved how these videos have done well because I think they're insightful and informed. And that's the content I think that should do well. Doesn't always do well, but I'm really glad that these ones have gone down well. But let's jump straight into this one because I think we really got an insight into Eric Ten Hag as the taskmaster that we all know he is. Bring an extra player in the middle. One, two, one, two in the middle. Two, three. And they try to get out this football. Yeah, yeah, so in the middle. One, Always the same principle. One. That bit there in particular to start with. He's talking about, this is before the rondo, when they're sort of moving the passing the ball around, which I'll run into next. But he's there talking about football, triangles. That's football. It's simple. Reiterating the same principle over and over and over again is what he was doing yesterday. And he was so vocal, so emotional, but in the right way. Not emotional as in like he's losing control of it, a bit like Bruno Fernandes last season with all the passing he was doing. But just the energy comes across. <laughs> He really is in control of every element. Yeah. Even as a fan, like looking in from this, I understand what they're doing. I couldn't really tell you that about a previous training. Center. And this is the first time that we're, I'm, I'm, I'm not even sure. You might have to go back to the whole way back to Moyers, really. But it's the last person who was really involved in running the day to day of Manchester United's training sessions because. Um, uh, Louis van Gaal didn't really take in charge of them. Jose Mourinho had, I think, Rui Farrier. Um, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer obviously had Kieran McKenna and Michael Carrick. And Ralph Rannick had, I think, Chris Armas. I think he's the first sort of hands-on trainer. And that, that clarity is obviously something that these players needed and have needed for a long, long time. This bit here, like, listen to how vocal he is. It's simple. And, pa and pass at the end there. It, again, maybe you could say I'm looking into this a little bit too much. But I like what I've seen so far the whole way through from all the insights we got into the tr pre season training at Carrington to this now. And of course, this has probably been the big, big focus. I wouldn't say the focus, but one of the big things has been these games, these passing drills. Now you can hear, if you listen, You'll hear, the, you'll hear the count, one, two, three, four. And it's all about building up that confidence to receive the ball at high intensity and get rid of it quickly as well. Not dawdle on the ball. It's all about quick, intense, interchangeable passing and triangles. As soon as the ball goes out, the ball goes in. Balls out, balls in. Now, again, <laughs> like like the like the overwhelming majority of all of this, it's nothing groundbreaking, but it's just. It's not as if Eric Ten Hag is coming into Manchester United and tweaking the philosophy and tweaking how we're playing. He's ripped it up, made a bonfire with all of it and starting brand new. So that's why those drills there, we might not look that good right now, but training session by training session, we'll get half a percent better and better until the point where it becomes natural, subconscious, and Ten Hag doesn't have to coach it to the players. 
because they do it themselves. That's what we're getting towards. But it, again, I mean, I'm excited by seeing it. And I'll tell you what, so I think the, the, probably this is the video I think that most people were talking about from yesterday. And it was the, uh, the punishments that came after conceding a goal. And let's run through this. The Man United, I think it was Fred actually, gave the ball away. Zidane Iqbal goes through. Goal. Players, like a boot camp. They go down. Give it four or five press-ups. By the way, terrible form of the press-ups there. Come on, guys, to the ground. Keep your elbows in. in. Jeez. Anyway, that, that's what a lot of people have been talking about because they, they like seeing the boot camp element of it. Jeez, maybe these players are going to be absolutely whammo by the end of the pre-season training if they're doing that and conceding. But it, it, it's, that, it's that bit there at the beginning because the ball was given away there. What happened? Counter-attack. Skip past the one player. Goal. That's what Man United, that was a weakness that we had. We gave away the ball in, in so many stupid positions last year, found ourselves out of shape, and then we got counter, we, we got hit on the counter-attack, and there was nothing we could really do about it. That's pretty much exactly why Eric Ten Hag wants Frankie de Jong, because he needs someone in that position, which is a, a vulnerable position, but who has the quality and the ability to find his teammates with the ball. We need that. And yeah, as I said, a lot of people have been talking about, again, it's, it's, it's basically Sunday league, really, when you think about it. No one should be getting mega excited at seeing Man United players doing press-ups after they get it wrong, all right? That's not what I'm here to tell you. But it's just another element of it. That, and all the elements, when they all come together, are indicative of a man who knows his philosophy, of a man in Eric Ten Hag who knows his plans, and of these players who really are starting to understand what he wants. And this was probably the most, one of the most insightful videos because we saw a bit of shape here. Uh, when we played, uh, uh, Laurie Whitwell here saying it was at like eight against seven, attack against defence. And Ten Hag, again, was still giving, giving instructions on exactly how he wants his team to play. And more specifically at this point, where he wants his wingers to be. Speaking about the shape there. Inside, shouting inside. He wants his wingers to come inside. And he does do that. And Anthony was one of those players. That was Hakim Ziyech. And this here is all about the patience in the defense, the patience in the attacking shape. That's what he wants. Whistle's blown, ball's blown, ball comes out. He wants to see, I mean, this one isn't actually <laughs> the overlapping run there. Cut out. But, it, but he's running through and continuing to run through attacking plays building up the concept of patient build-up. Especially from out, from out of defence, we know we need to work on that massively. We're so bad at that. And that's probably the mo one of the most interesting things I think I'll be watching during this game against Liverpool. How good are United at playing it out from the back with the ball? How much have we changed in this first couple of weeks? Because from an attacking sense, this is what Eric Ten Hag will be wanting to work towards. Patient, patient build-up and to the moment of quality. Moving it from left to right, moving it from left to right until the space develops. No space over there. Bring it over here. Jaden Sancho, he's got space. Finds Marcus Rashford. Quality <laughs> header, by the way. That's what Eric Ten Hag will want. Patient build up. Keep going and going and going until you find that space, until you get the goal. That's what he is working towards. But. Yeah, I've really, really enjoyed quite a lot of the videos yesterday. I think probably going back to, I think this one was my personal favourite. Just hearing Eric Ten Hag. Always the same principles. And I think that's probably why players are really starting to understand what's going on now. Why things do feel a little bit different for the squad for everybody to work with this man here. Eric Ten Hag, it's the exact same principles every single week. Week on week, and even this is going to happen during the, pre -se during the season, sorry. Even if we lose a game, we go in, it'll be the same principles. It won't be something magically different that we're working on. We won't just all of a sudden switch to a completely different formation, a completely different style, because we got pumped 4-0 at the weekend by somebody. It'll be the exact same thing. And that lack of clarity has definitely contributed to our 
a lack of identity. You can't have a, like a, an identity if you don't know what you're doing in the training ground. That's all changed. And I, I really enjoyed seeing all this insight. And I wanted to do this video early this morning, get it out before the game today against Liverpool. We'll start seeing these foundations really start to get in place. And after the Liverpool game, we'll probably do a reaction, taking a look at seeing what we saw and whether or not we're playing triangles, whether or not this possession-based football has improved our touch, whether or not we can start giving the ball away less in dangerous positions and forcing counter-attacks, whether or not we can start with this patient build-up play and whether or not we can culminate all of that in this sort of move where United can have the ball on the edge of the box, remain patient, remain quality and find that pass here that can create the killer chance and be clinical. Easier said than done, right? But that open training session, I think, really gave us the best insight that we'll have to this Ten Hag philosophy, the drills and the demands that he's putting on these players and how the players are responding. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've enjoyed this series that I've done. Maybe I can do another one if there's another open training session with a bit more insight. But make sure you please drop a like on the video, subscribe and become part of the United People's TV community, which is growing. It's fantastic. And I love that it's growing off the back of these sort of, I would say, more insightful and informed videos rather than just pure, loud transfers. But look, let me know what you think about it all in the comments below, as you always do.